Hey there YouTube, this is Level 1 Online, and I wanted to show how to go ahead and properly get your controls in order. Uh, if you're using the latest Mad Little Pixel version 4 download, um, I run into the same issue that I had with version 3, which is my start button is configured to the trigger. Um, and I couldn't figure out how to do it, and I wanted to show you guys what I did to get it to work. He did put out a video. I suggest going to his video first and trying what he suggested before doing my video. Okay, so right now I got my uh, image loaded up, fresh, brand new image. And I'm going to show you step by step on what I did. I'm on my computer. I'm going to go down here to the bottom left. I'm going to go to my Explorer. I'm going to launch my File Explorer. And I'm going to go right here to Network. Okay, here's my RetroPie. One of the good things is that he already has SSH enabled. Um, so you should be able to just get into it fairly easy. So we have our four folders right here, our BIOS, configs, ROMs, splash screens. We're going to go into configs. And we're going to go right here into all. Okay. And here's the issue right here, retroarch.cfg. If you double click on this, um, first thing you'll notice is this: these lines of code, I'm not familiar with what all of this is. Um, now, if you go, if you open up retro or um, retroarc.cfg.rp-dist, this right here says skeleton config file for retroarc. This is what is on the uh, the retroarc the wiki page, the official website. And so what I've done is I go ahead, I grab this, and I grab retroarc.cfg, and I just go ahead and I delete them. And then I'm going to go ahead and rename this one. Go ahead, fix that. Would you like to change it? Hit yes. So now this is my retroarc.cfg. While I'm here, I'm going to go ahead and show you guys a, a neat trick. Um, we're going to go right here to edit. We're going to go here to find replace. We're going to type in menu underscore swap. We're going to hit find next. And it says right here, swap buttons for OK cancel. Menu swap. This is when you're in your retro arc menu, that green screen. We're going to go ahead. We're going to take out the pound symbol. We're going to go ahead and change this to true. We're going to go ahead and save this. Go ahead and close that out. The next thing I'm going to do is you're going to go into RetroArc. You're going to go into Auto Config. Here's all of Mad Little Pixels controllers. I'm really not sure because I have a USB controller as well, and I don't. I'm not 100% certain if these were the files that were conflicting with mine. I'm just going to go ahead and delete them. Just clear all that out because I don't even use these controllers. All right, we're going to go ahead and back out of there. And then the other thing I noticed is we're going to need to go back a few folders. And we're going to need to go right here into Arcade. We're going to go ahead and launch RetroArc. And you see he has more code right here. I'm not sure where this code came from. This is not the default that I'm accustomed to. What I'm accustomed to is supposed to just look like this. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to grab this. I'm going to delete this. I'm going to go ahead and rename this. Okay. The next thing I wanted to show you, so now we're all done. So now everything, so what's, well, basically what it's telling you is that at this level, at this folder level, it's not even going to do anything. It's just going to um, rely on everything, all the commands that are in the all folder. The all folder supersedes all these other subfolders down here. Okay. If you want to have custom settings, for your arcade, this is where you go. You start typing it in right here in this line. But I'm just, I like to use the defaults. Um, and what I wanted to show you is one thing I did notice about his particular download is that he did have a custom resolution. So I can go ahead and show you really quick how to go ahead and fix that. We're going to go right here to Putty. 
we're going to go ahead and launch that. We're going to type in RetroPie. We don't even, at this point, we haven't even gotten on. We haven't even switched to our Retro or, uh, RetroPie. We don't even need to go into RetroPie setup at this point. We're gonna, I'm going to show you how to do that through here. We're going to log in as Pi. Password, Raspberry. Okay. So at this point, we're going to go ahead. We're going to type in CD, uppercase R, retro, uppercase P, pi, dash, setup, uppercase S. Hit enter. We're going to type in sudo, period, slash, retro, pi, all under uh, lowercase, underscore, setup, dot, sh. Boom. Okay. So it's going to take us into our setup. And we're going to go right here into configuration and tools. We're going to go right here into emulation station. Clear reset emulation uh, station input. You can, yeah, just go ahead and hit OK to that. OK. Swap A and B buttons. We're going to go. We're going to hit OK. So now not only is your A and B buttons going to be swapped in your emulation station, it's also going to be swapped within your retro arc menu uh, after the previous uh, change that I did. We're going to go ahead and hit cancel now. The next thing I'm going to do, we're going to go into config edit. We're going to go into configure basically retro emulator options. Hit OK. So it says right here, configure default options for all Lieb Retro, which is all of this down here. So in one fell swoop, you can just configure all these emulators through this top option. Hit OK. Video smoothing, you want to make sure that's set to false. We're going to go here, aspect ratio. You can go ahead and set it to core. Render resolution. Um, I like using the default because I like um, I like how it looks. But on his particular download, he had it set to 640 by 480. So we're going to set it back to that. Video shader enable. This is if you want to enable some filters. If you want to enable, for example, CRT Pi. That's one of the best looking ones, I think. Okay. And we're going to go ahead. We're going to cancel out of this. Cancel out of this. Cancel. And that's about it. I <coughs> excuse me. I don't recommend updating. Uh, at this time, there is an issue I will get into um, in just a moment. Um, it has to do if you update your emulation station, it has an extra button, a hotkey enable button. Um, if you're using a controller like mine. Uh, that doesn't have a uh, like a guide button like an Xbox or a PS button you need to set that to the select all right so what we can do here we're gonna go ahead and just hit perform reboot hit OK are you sure you want to reboot hit OK and your systems gonna go ahead and reboot I'm gonna go ahead and switch over to my retro pie now hey guys okay so I just started up my retro pie image and it says here get one gamepad detected let me go ahead and show off my controller really quick this is what I'm using I'm using it's it might be a little hard to see because of the lighting I'm using a Logitech precision controller let me go ahead and get this set up really quick we're gonna go ahead and hold down the button up down left right start select a what you want to do, this is like a Super Nintendo controller, so you want your A basically to be the uh, the right. The one on the, on, think of the, uh, your four buttons as like a cross. So your A to be the right one. B to be the one at the bottom. X, the one at the, uh, the top. And then the Y, the one to the left. 
left shoulder, right shoulder, left trigger, right trigger. These we're just going to hold on the button to skip. All right, so we're going to go right here to Nintendo. Okay, so so far it looks really good. I'm going to go ahead and hit the start button. Start button works. It's not on the trigger. Let me go ahead and see if I can get into the retro arc menu. I'm going to hit select and then the top button. Yep. And then a neat little trick. This is something else I do. If you want to fix your controls, um, if you don't want them on the bottom two, if you want them on the, uh, on the left hand side, um, you go right here to quick menu, you go right here to controls, you go down here. Now where it says B, I want this to be on my left hand side, my B button. So I'm going to go ahead and, and change it to left. Once again, think of it as like a cross. You got your four buttons, you got your top, left, down, and right. The Turbo B, this one doesn't even work. We're going to set that to, we're just going to set it to top. We're going to go down here. We're going to set the A button. We're going to set this one to down. Turbo A, you can just set that to right. I don't think Turbo is enabled by default, but yeah, if it was enabled, yeah. So we're going to go ahead and do that there. And then what you want to do is you want to save core remap so that means all your regular nintendo games will have that configuration go ahead and acknowledge it's gonna say yep new yep and if you just want to do an individual configuration for just one game that's where you hit save game remap and it'll save that for example when you go into like x-men or ninja turtles the the buttons one and two are different on those games so we're gonna go ahead and back out of this i'm gonna go up I'm going to hit resume. So now, um, let me see if you can see this. This will jump. This will slash. Instead of these two down here, I don't like these two. I want these two right here. Kind of like, you know, Mega Man X. The jump in and attack buttons. All right. And the other thing I wanted to go over, one last thing. Let me go ahead and see if I can exit out of this. Okay, so when you go to configure input, want to configure input, there's going to be an extra, if you do update, I don't recommend updating, but if you do update it, there's going to be an extra button on this screen. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to switch back to the computer now, and I'm going to show you exactly what I mean. All right, I'm back on the computer now, and what I wanted to show you, if you're having, if you do update and you're having an issue... We're going to go back to Explorer right here. We're going to go back to our RetroPie, Configs, All, RetroArch, Auto Config, and go ahead and launch your controller's profile. What I noticed was missing in mine is this command right here, input underscore exit underscore emulator underscore button equals and then the button number and also the hotkey this command right here input underscore select underscore button equals eight and when i went ahead and i and now because i haven't updated it's here okay what i would suggest is maybe making a copy of this file or on the wiki the retropie wiki page has a, a default layout and you can just copy that code and that is if you do update and you are having issue with your hotkey not working. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Hope you found it informative. And 
you know, at the end of the day, the goal is to get back to those video games. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. Take care.